Welcome back to Black Butler Anime Review Special Number 15. I like what D. Gray Man. This series was in flashback for about 10 chapters with 165. We're finished with the flashback. Thank God for that. Now, unlike, unlike previously, my previous reviews, where I have reviewed previously three once. I think it was like the last review I did where I reviewed three. This one reviewed three once again. This one reviewed chapters 165 through 167. First up is chapter 165, That Butler Teaching. Chet picks up knowing after events of the last chapter, where Mei Ren is pretty much starting her day as a maid. She's of course breaking plates. Says the plays were entire were entire mouth of your salary. You realize don't you? Like skirt scene trips me up sometimes. And it turns out that and of course she tells Sebastian she can't read. Like, okay. Then have you go reading and reading classes along with Finney. Come to the break room. I have to work tomorrow. I have to work today. Okay, got it. Language, yes, sir. And then we see Lau here. Yep, Lau is here. And he's like, happy to meet him. It's a very brief meeting. And then, of course, she still breaks stuff. But it's like, she's hopeless. And of course, the cook is basically wondering, like, how in the world is he able to chip us with food? And see reading the reading writing is going well. And then we see her actual work being a sniper where she pulls up her skirt and then she shoots at somebody. Of course she shoots at assassins like one of work and she's blushing at Sebastian. Yes, it's been hinted at for quite some time in the series that May Ren has got a crush on Sebastian. It has had zero progression. I wouldn't be surprised if Sebastian one point would take her virginity. I would not be surprised about that. And then we have her basically chapter with her put her maid outfit and her welcoming home being there with a few others to welcome home Cecile. And then we finally finally end the flashback for the series. After it's been going on now, it's been like for 10 chapters, we've had a flashback. They with May Rin's, May, May Ling's backstory. And we come back to where we left off way back in chapter 156. Yep. They're like, price to pay me, like, the sleep's like, the sleep with the masters. Like, it's like, do you think I'll work for a effort of a master? Who who tricks me is becoming food? Think again. I don't care how much you pay me. I ain't taking that deal. But don't worry, we're not done here yet. And of course, Mei Ling is basically lying in the bed completely naked. Yes, they do explain that in chapter one sixty sixty seven. So they apparently, and then we have this chapter kind of focused on a little bit on. Sebastian Cecile. What they found about the blood work thing, probably the revelation of how Cecile's brother is is still alive. The Undertaker is here, first time in probably about fifteen chapters we've seen him. Of course, getting minors like foremost three, four suspicions in our list. Splitting two teams of two. We have Finney the Snake Man. We have Lao and the Cook. And we have Mei Ling and Mei Rin. And of course Sebastian is, is still with Cecile. Fine, if, if there's no evidence of, of blood collection, then leave, leave me leave Fort back here. But if you find evidence, tear down the operation until there's nothing left. So, it's like, not even the, the trust the price will enhance you. Shame. Honestly. You dummy, you look. Off rejected. Miss Rim Rimmel, no. And somehow she moves. And then she jumps up in the air. By the way, she is completely naked. How the heck she got naked? She probably got stripped. And then she jumps on top of the the evil maid, the head maid, and is like trying to string us like Miss Rimmel. Thank goodness. 
Were you just pretending to be caught on purpose? I just woke up. Gun's too loud. Were you really asleep? This one put me asleep. And we get an explanation, basically, of what happened. Welcome, Ren. Glad to came. Come, don't be shy. Touch your cheek. And he says, what about the other maids? Mm -hmm. Do you get bored of them? No, no. Everyone's had the wonderfully stunning women. It's just, they weren't exactly what I'm looking for. Their souls were like my late wife's. Did you get Paris I thought I would never do something that frightening and then he starts groping her it's like touching her back up top of her butt touching her thigh and then she proceeds to punch him right in the freaking face is what the punch out perverts bring out the maids <laughs> okay it's quite hilarious yep yeah this is pretty much a flashback of how Mei Ling got Mei Ling got there and then we have the cover image of Mei Ling completely naked. And picks up exactly what that shadow says, where she says, Punch out perverts, bring out the maids. And then proceeds to kick him. Look like knocking some teeth out. Looks like maybe shadow his glass. Hurry up and say it. If you want to keep your teeth. And then she's like, Stop, I'll tell you there. And she stops. Because she got hit with a tranquilizer dart. You're honestly. I want to be careful around these Chinese sisters. Then she gets knocked out. I never thought I'd be. I never thought to be such a beautiful woman. Oh, don't you know? All women are ferocious beasts, my lord. I will take care of this woman. Please do not leave the room until this woman has gone down. Your face is, to, is a disgrace right now. Hardly fit to be a master, let alone no man. And. We see that apparently that. Yeah, she is definitely naked as I see her butt. How are you awake? You should have been on sedatives. Obviously, how? Don't you know? Opium works better. <laughs> okay. Yep. Quite hilarious ending to this chapter. Yes, hilarious to say the least. I give all three chapters a 9.5 out of 10 because that's progression. D. Gray Man produces like a small baby step. And great chapters. Loved and looking forward to next chapter coming out, which maybe next chapter might, might conclude this particular set of chap this particular arc per se, because we're split the seven of arcs for the series. One group might be interested to see what they're up to is Finney and the Snake Man, who was the I believe he's the front man. For the household, yeah, he's from the 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 circus arc, which Cecile basically had killed the entire circus, and he had lied to Snake Man about it. But I wonder if they'll come back to bite him. <laughs> Who knows? Oh yeah, so he's the footman. So looking forward to next chapter comes out. Okay, so yeah, that's it for the review. I might have time to do another review tonight. I don't know. It just depends on how long it takes me to get done. Five episodes. If not, I'll save for tomorrow. Along with a review of the newest episode released, dub for Fire Force. Yeah, I didn't know there was was a chapter of episode released last week. So, I figured, though, I'd take care of it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Because, as far as I know, episode 6 is still not been released dubbed yet. So, who knows? Find out soon, okay? So... That's it. So until this next video, if it be tonight, if not tonight, tomorrow. Okay, just next video. Bye.